Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I'm making a video to talk about a custom order that I'm making. Uh, it's for Christina. She has a problem with her kidney, unfortunately, and that left her with very thin hair because of the medication that she's taking. So she requested me to make a 5x5 five five closure and she sent me one of the best hair that I've ever had in my hands. This is real Slavic hair. Um, I don't know the colors, this seems to be lighter than that and they're not the same size of course. But this hair is so pretty. I can see that it, it has a lot of fillers but I can see that the ends are thick as well. Thick enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna blend these two I'm actually gonna clap them according to separate them according to length first just to get the maximum out of it. I don't know if this is single donor pieces. I think it is because it seems so consistent in color and everything. Who has this thick braid? Anyway. And I also told her since you're sending me the hair that you have, why don't you just send me your head mold? Initially I was gonna discard this because I didn't know what it was. Then I saw the markings and I was like, this looks like a head mold. But I already told her and I'm gonna show you. You're doing it wrong this way. First of all, this is a flat. I mean, the only tip that I can see is in the hairline. What about this? I'm sure your hair is not like that. It's not as flat as that. You're supposed to, when you put it on your head, tape it as well so it keeps the curve okay it it won't matter a, a huge milestone on this one because it's not a wig it's a closure and since I have the hairline I think I'm pretty well secure and happily the dude once again is gonna save us let me just take the hair The dude, once again, fits the head mold perfectly. Look at that. Take a look. It's a, almost identical to the average hairline that I drawn. Of course, the, the temples are different here. And I imagine that her head will probably have the same curvature to the dude because he has an average curvature. And it's acceptable. So I'm gonna use him, thank God for the dude, say thank you to the dude everyone, his nose is getting yellow. And yeah, I'm gonna make it over here, I'm gonna put it securely over here, I'm gonna tape it for myself just to be able to have the shape better. So a small update, I did the seams, the folds, and I have put, I marked the hairline, I have marked all the outlinings and now I have this ribbon that I'm gonna put here it was white I'm not gonna show you the original I dyed with the I dye poly I dye sorry I dye poly in brown cafe and I'm gonna put it from the side to the back except the front of course and I'm gonna do it with the sewing machine because it, it's gonna be so much better faster and easier to do and then I'm gonna start ventilating so I already did it, as you can see. I also trimmed the tr this triangle was going like that. So this part here, I just trimmed it as well as this one. So it has minimal um, seams because, you know, it's close to the front uh, inevitably. And I have the ribbon. Now I'm gonna ventilate everywhere except on the ribbon. And in the front, of course, it's gonna be ventilated. And I think it's gonna be just good. It's sturdy. It's all good. Also, did I mention that I didn't use the best uh, lace? I used from all the three laces. This is the best. This is the light tan, and this is the medium brown. I used the light tan for her because she is uh, she she's a black girl, but you know uh, most black girls in the USA are not just strict African, they are African American, that's why they call them like that. And her skin tone is slightly lighter, but she's not too light. I mean, this is good only for really white people like me. She is a mixed girl. And we use the, the light tan. 
so oh of course i'm gonna send her these two three pieces when i send the piece as well so she can see for herself that this was the best option and i'm gonna mount it here and then i'm gonna start ventilating and it's gonna be just good and yeah let's see of course before i ventilate i have to separate the hair according to length it's very beautiful and i'm gonna somehow blend it because I don't know how much the hair is gonna. This hair should be enough for the closure, but I don't know because I'm gonna remove these. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw away anything. This I promise. Before I use the hair, I just straighten it, of course, and I can say that this hair is such a good quality. I have never seen so beautiful hair. Whoever is growing hair like that should be rich for just for that. And this hair is good, of course. It's so much better than the Indian hair or the Chinese hair. It's just that it's thicker than that. So I straighten it a little bit, not too much. And I'm gonna separate it according to length. And then I'm gonna combine the longest trunks from this with the longest trunks from this. And I'm gonna see how much I need. And then I'm gonna be ventilating the hair. Okay, I took out the braid and I can see that it has a lot of super short strands. That means that it's probably from a single donor. It was just a haircut from uh, a ponytail haircut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to separate this in half. First of all, I'm gonna discard this. I'm so um, um, fearful of working with such quality hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller section. Separate from the group, and then I'm gonna put an elastic because it's so much easier to work with smaller bundles. Okay, I'm gonna have to let this sit somewhere securely enough over here, and now I'm gonna discard this overly short hair and put it in a ponytail. People always ask me if I like working with bulk hair or wefts. The answer is very easy. Working with wefts is so much easier. Because you have a weft and you can very easily do whatever you want. You can cut the amount of hair that you need. Okay, I. it took me three hours to separate the hair according to length. Now the... This is the premium quality one and this is the a little uh, thicker one with um, orange band I have everything which is about 12 inches maximum which is 30 centimeters and shorter of course because this has everything shorter although I have already discarded a lot this hair over here is super short you can see how short these strands are because this is a ponytail cut it was cut from a salon you can see how short it is so when they cut the hair they just cut it in a braid look at that look how small short they are all this hair when they cut the hair in the salon they just braid it then they put bands and then they just cut it and they sell it like that so it has a lot of really short strands this is the amount of both of them. This is the, the thicker one, and this is the finer one. Then I have another bundle. This is the finer one. This is the thicker one. This is everything between 12 inches to 14 inches, about. So this is fairly double drawn, as you can see. Then have the 14 to 16 inches or 40 centimeters this is again double drawn the fine hair and the slightly thicker hair okay finally this is over and I say finally because although this area is made with two strands per knot and this area is the only one that is made with single strand single knot as you can see in the hairline just because this is European hair and it's finer than the typical Indian or even worse the Asian, I had to put more hair to make the density look better. 
and and also she also wanted this to be full so i had to put more hair instead of ventilating my normal pattern i had to ventilate like 30 percent more knots so it was much bigger job to do of course i still need to bleach the knots and i am going to be bleaching them let me just take out the braids this piece is slightly longer than 12 inches because she didn't want to be much longer than that you can see the the ruler is about 12 inches and it's free parting everywhere although in this area if you force a parting it's gonna be slightly more visible because of the bulkier job and when I mean when I say bulkier I mean multiple strands per knot in this case two or sometimes even three let me just take out all the braids take some partings also I want to show you the difference between the bleach knots and the non bleach knots you obviously have seen the difference probably in a piece that you had or you can just google it and see but I really want to see how that looks in my piece also in the in the front I used much thinner strands of all the hair that I had I just hand picked the, the thinnest ones because even in European hair there are a couple of strands that are not like baby fine okay um, yeah it's not the, the most visible way to show that because it still has the blue line but I can take the vertical partings and the normal partings and show you also the ventilation direction is going backwards forwards in the hinge effect as you can see and the reason why I ventilated this way is because this lady wants to achieve a haircut that wants her hair to go like she's gonna cut it of course going upward like that or going forward so I want her to be able to part to take it forward without a huge bounce see it just went forward because of the ventilation that I did let me just take a vertical parting and I repeat this is the the half definition density uh, sorry the half definition ventilation it's not the full high definition if it was full high definition this is full high definition uh, it wouldn't be so, so you know patterned you know too visible Let me just part this as well that's how it is this is the half definition this is the full definition of course because this is the hairline and it also has finer strands it's not visible now but they are finer I just want you to see how it looks against my skin I'm gonna try to take a parting but I think it's gonna be a little hard it's all like that wherever you part it and this is not the full definition the full high definition this is just half definition it still looks good enough but I'm gonna bleach the knot and it's gonna look so much better okay I got super crafty and I just mounted this on an embroidery hoop so as to keep it um, in tension you see how that is these areas are very secure because they have the ribbon but this in the front is a little more fragile so I had to make sure that I didn't rip it and I'm uh, whispering because everyone is sleeping again anyway I'm gonna apply the bleeds on this part as you can see I just brushed everything vertically when it falls like that, it's vertical. 
so it's not like that so when I put bleach here it will not stain this part for example it will only stay stain the root so I'm gonna apply the bleach and I'm gonna make sure that this is gonna be a perfect bleach Okay, it's finally done and I have to say that it's pretty nice, nicely bleached. Let me just show you. I can still see, <clears throat> I can still see the knots, but they are now a pale, a pale brown or a pale orange. Let me just take, no, this doesn't work maybe a white background doesn't help I think my skin background is just fine I mean look at that I could just bleach it one more time but I don't know if it's necessary and I can see that this is consistent throughout the whole piece Fair enough. And if we see the front, I think the front is kind of more bleached. The very fine front hair is uh, much, you know, undete more undetectable. But I think it's fair enough to say that this is just good. The way it is. I don't know if I can do anything more on that. I could bleach it one more time just to make sure because I didn't leave it too long. And I didn't leave it too long because I didn't want this to be over bleached and ruin it you know you don't want it to be like a 613 bleach uh, you want it to be something um, closer to your skin color so I'm gonna take some photos and show her and then I'm going to uh, if she wants me to bleach it one more time I can do that let me just get This way it's gonna be so much better visible so I'm gonna take a vertical parting and horizontal one yeah it's obviously so much more blonde now in the base I don't think that it worth bleeding it again but I could do it if she wants me to do that I can totally do that. Yeah, I think it's fine enough. But anyway, if she wants it, she can actually bleed it herself. It's not anything difficult, it's not rocket science. So if she doesn't like the, the amount of bleed that I did in the roots, she can do it a little more. 